Today we are going to be starting with the fresh topic like I'm going to be uh, doing the tutorials on uh, HTML that is the hypertext markup language. So today's video is going to be on uh, basically the introduction part of what is HTML and how we are going to be using that into our browsers and we're going to be seeing the applications of HTML practically and as we move on because this video is going to be the introduction more of the introduction part so let us begin so what is an HTML HTML uh, as we all know that HTML stands for hypertext markup language and this is not an, a programming language you have to be careful because in programming languages what we do is we perform certain calculation to get a certain result but in HTML we're not going to be doing any sort of calculation right because you have to understand that HTML is a markup language that means it is going to be we're going to mark the uh, parts of the document to indicate them on the display that's it and that's 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 the meaning right of the markup language we're not going to be doing any calculations there so that's what the HTML is so then move on to the uh, the basic structure of syntax of HTML. The, there are syntactic units in HTML, the basic syntactic units of HTML that we call them as tags. They are called as tags. So what these tags are going to do is they, go, they are going to define the category of content we are going to be specifying. For example, if I want to have the paragraph into my page web page, I'm going to be using the uh, paragraph tag that is the p tag that is in the angular braces and in HTML every tag is going to be having the opening one and the closing tag but there are certain tags which are not going to have the closing one they are just gonna have like just opening tag for example you can see the image tag it's just introduction parts so don't get confused don't get messed up it is going to be like just tags are those things that are going to define the category of content that you want to specify onto your web page while you're developing. That's it. So the first line of the HTML is going to begin always with the dog type. Now what is this line? You can see that line there. That line means uh, you have less than symbol, you have exclamation mark there and you have doc type and you have space and after that HTML that means this line is actually going to define what version of HTML you're using it is an in instruction to the web browser that what version of HTML I'm using that's what this line is going to do and every web page like while developing the pages while designing a web page every single page of this is going to be starting with that line so next moving on to the next tag of ba we are going to be like discussing the basic structure here you can see there is an HTML tag and every HTML tag is having an opening HTML then you have the closing HTML whenever you see a web page you see that uh, that Google name whatever that if you type google.com you will see that Google there that's gonna be our title right and whatever the content you see in the web page that is going to be like within the body tag it's gonna be like your paragraph like you see that basic structure here the first thing is doc type as I said every HTML tag is going to be starting with this line then you have the HTML tag HTML opening one and HTML closing at the end of your web page right at the end of your coding I can say then you have the, your Mm, what I can cite as the head tag head tag and, and within the head tag you have the title tag and that title tag is gonna be uh, is gonna be like your when you see google.com you see that Google there and that's gonna what that's what the title is going to display that's the meaning of title now when you come to the body tag the body tag is going to be specifying the structure of your web page like within the web page within the body of your web page how the things should appear that's what the body tag will do right that's it guys for today you can subscribe for more such videos thank you very much